Hey there, I'm Natasha Antonioni. I'm a realtor here in Austin, Texas. I'm a mom and I'm also a design advocate. Today, we're gonna talk about Austin neighborhoods. If you're moving to town, there's a ton. It's so vast. I've kind of narrowed it down. We moved here five years ago. We sold our million dollar townhouse in LA and paid 585 for our house here in Austin on half an acre with a pool, five bedrooms, 3,800 square feet. Like what? Are you for real? Life is just easier here, especially with a family. So let me give you the breakdown on some of my favorite neighborhoods that kind of compare to bigger cities. Let's start with downtown, right? So you're used to living in a bigger city, possibly. You might want to be in something that feels more like a city environment that you're used to. East Austin is kind of comparable to Abbott Kinney maybe like 10, 15 years ago. It's got restaurants, CBD stores, boho eateries, mom and pop shops, lots of diversity, very artistic. They have an art walk. Then you have SoCo, which is south of downtown. This area has got a lot of activity, tons of foot traffic. It's vibrant, hip shops, trendy boutique hotels, and it's got like Austin vibe. There's live music. They have the legendary Continental Club there. There's also a roadside show, Gueros. They have an outdoor area, fun for kids. They have music there every night. There's people walking by. It's got a good kickback vibe. There's like food trucks, healthy food trucks. And you also have that Insta-worthy vista of the Texas State Capitol right down at the end of Congress, and there's an eclectic mix of modern and farmhouse architecture. When I came here to visit for the first time, it totally reminded me of Venice. You'll have some kind of like white modern masterpiece next to like this older 1920s home with a couple of kickback rockers on the front porch. Then you have Terrytown, which is just across the bridge there. This one is more of an elegant neighborhood. I would compare it to something like Brentwood in Los Angeles. It offers a range of architectural homes. You'll see these older tree-lined streets, but then they'll have these modern homes, some traditional Texas-style homes there as well. You have a 23-acre nature preserve with roaming peacocks and a historic golf course, a spring-fed pool. There's the Laguna Gloria, which is an art museum, and it occupies a riverside Italian-style villa built in 1916, which I love that mix of old Texas sprinkled throughout the city. It's not the overwhelming vibe, but it does have a flair of history. And then you have Lake Austin Boulevard. Because the Colorado River kind of runs through the city, you have some restaurants that are waterfront with lively bars, always music playing. Super fun, you can roll up on a boat as well. And then if you just go a little bit further out into hill country, you're gonna hit Westlake. Westlake Hills is kind of prestigious neighborhood. It's in Travis County. It's not in Austin County. It's uh, just 10 minutes to downtown. It's got hill country views, winding roads, tons and tons of trees. You feel like a very removed vibe, even though you're really close to downtown. It was developed in the 70s and 80s. It's on the south side of the Colorado River. So you still have that kind of eclectic. You know, it is prestigious, so there are a lot of the larger estate homes, but it does have some of those older homes sprinkled in there. It's a suburb, it's got charming local shops. There's some cute shopping centers family-friendly fair, which is always an amazing thing if you're a city person moving to a smaller town like Austin. You know, when you go out to dinner with the family, when we were living in Napa, we were dropping at least 150 bucks for a family dinner, but you have options here when it comes to the kids, places that you can enjoy, but that are affordable. And then if you keep driving out further, you're gonna hit Barton Creek. So Barton Creek is very manicured, rolling hills. It's 5.4 square miles of wooded hill country. Uh, beautiful, winding, manicured roads with tons of vistas. Like everywhere you go, you're gonna find some kind of golf course or rolling hill view. Barton Creek Real Estate hosts annual residents, but it's also people that have their second and third homes. It's a golfer's paradise. Uh, you have the Omni Hotel there, which has four restaurants in it and beautiful rolling views. Uh, some of the best golf courses in the world. Uh, you'll find a bunch of retirees out there as well, but it's not only retirees. 
And then you come to my crazy neighborhood, which is just a six minute drive past Barton Creek. And that's, for us, it's about 17 minutes without a lot of traffic. It's about 20, 25 minutes with traffic. Cuernavaca is, that's the unofficial name for it. It's called Lake Hills Estates. It's also known as West, West Lake. It's an eclectic community. It's about 15 miles to downtown. And it's for buyers that want a hill country home with a quirky mindset, a little bit more affordable than West Lake. It's definitely got architectural variety. You'll drive down a street and it'll be a bunch of trailer homes and then you just keep going down and then you'll find yourself in front of estate waterfront properties that go from $5 million to $10 million and up. When you're living downtown, obviously it's going to be more dollar per square foot. So you're going to find smaller residents sometimes and if you're finding a large estate home, it's going to cost you. As you move away from downtown, you're gonna get more bang for your buck on your square footage. You know, the house that costs you a million dollars in Cuernavaca is gonna be very different than the townhouse home style that you're gonna get off of South Congress. So it really is, just depends on what your dream is and what you're going for in your life. And then if you're looking for a little bit more like space where you can breathe and you're not getting like the kind of hecticness of a city, if you're coming from a big city, Austin might not feel like a hectic city, but when you head out to Lakeway, 25 miles from downtown, it's definitely not feeling like you're in a city place anymore. You're gonna find golf courses, there's marinas. You do run the gamut with real estate over there. You can get a beautiful, lovely home for in the three and four hundreds all the way up to $10 million estates again. And those $10 million estates would be like 7,000 square feet with water views and a boat uh, slip as well. So it just really depends on what your dream is and what you're going for and your lifestyle. Lakeway also has 65 miles of lake frontage. It has 100 acres of parkland and trails, and it has 500 acres of green belts. So you could hear what I'm saying about the further you get away from downtown, which is true for any city, the more space you're gonna get. Well, if you live in Austin now or are considering moving to this town, get the download below. There's two. There's one for things to do in Austin if you're just coming in for a trip to check it out. But I also have a neighborhood guide that does a little bit of a deeper dive on all of the neighborhoods that we covered. And of course, I'm a realtor here, so I'm happy to help with any questions that you have. As always, my goal is to help you live your dream. So please leave a comment below. Tell me what your dream is, and I'll be happy to reply and give you my feedback on where might be the best place for you in this vast, amazing, awesome community called Austin, Texas. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner so you can stay tuned weekly to our videos on everything hip, cool, happening in Austin, real estate and design.